So once you've examined the site at the watershed level, it's then time to zoom in again and look at the site within its actual site boundaries. Because we started at the macro scale to understand the big forces that have the most influence, we're able to show those forces with a map we call the sector compass. We show specifically the forces that are coming from outside of the site into the site that we need to design for. So our design becomes a response to these forces. But this close scale here, we can map the actual details of our site, where the water flows during the rains, where trees and buildings cast shade. Now there's no way we could have understood the forces that we need to design for at this close up scale here without having started from the macro perspective, looking at where we sit on the planet and where we rest within the watershed. This is the essential process of permaculture site analysis, going from macro to micro. And this process is the basis for permaculture design.